Our next author has a message that far too many people have had to address in their own lives. If you are somebody, I know this has come up in my life and in the small group that we've had of five authors, at least three of them have had personal experiences with the world of concussions and traumatic brain injuries. If you are someone who has had a concussion or a traumatic brain injury, or who loves someone who has had a concussion or a brain injury, you will want to get a copy of this book even before you meet the author. That link will be up there. This book, Bounce Back, Reclaim Your Life After a Concussion, was written by our next guest, Vanessa, Vanessa Woodburn. Vanessa, come on out here. Hello. Well, just looking at you, I have to say, you don't look like you've had a traumatic brain injury. Uh, bounce Back, such an interesting topic because it is one of the world's often hidden, um, I was going to say illnesses, but it's not. It's, uh, it's like it's something so many people deal with and don't have tools, resources, and loved ones don't have tools and resources. So let's talk about this book and your story of coming to be the author of it. Thank you. Yes. Um, you're right, it is an invisible injury, and that's one of the things that makes it so challenging. And I wrote this book to help people who have experienced a concussion get back on their feet and begin to live again and reclaim that sense of identity that um, can feel like it's lost after you've had a brain injury. And I, I've heard this also, because we've done books on this topic, is from a spouse, a partner, a child, a family member, a friend, it feels like you're supposed to be so excited that your loved one is fine, but in reality, you're like, uh, where are they? And like, I'm glad their body is fine, but what, what happens that traumatic brain injury can change people so much? It can, uh, for the person who has had the brain injury, it can make you ask questions like, you know, who am I now? And Will this ever get better? And you think about all the things that used to be easy and they're not easy anymore. There's things you have to relearn. Um, so those are questions that are going on in the, in the mind of the person who's had the concussion and also in their family. They're often wondering, you know, what's happened and is, I know for my children, they were probably wondering, you know, when am I gonna get my mom back? Do you feel, well, let's tell your story. What, how did you come to be an expert in this topic? Uh, yes, I unfortunately became an expert in this topic. Uh, three and a half years ago, I was traveling on a dream uh, cycling vacation through Italy uh, with my husband and uh, some friends, and I had a really bad accident on the third day of our trip. That resulted in uh, a hospital stay in Italy for a few weeks with a brain injury and some internal injuries as well. And what what would you say that journey has been like? And is this book a memoir of that journey, or are you trying to do something else here? Yeah, definitely trying to do something else. I do share my story because I want people to know I can relate to how they're feeling and the questions that they're asking themselves. But it really, the book was really a way for me to uh, help people see that there is hope and possibility and potential that you can live again and you can write a new narrative, even when your symptoms are present. Um, I was really searching for that hopeful message and uh, I feel that this is the difference that I wanna make with the book. So powerful and so many people just don't know where to go and there's so many voices and it can be so medical and having a personal experience makes a big difference. So much of shining your light with a book has to do with the you in that sentence and sharing your story, sharing the truth of who you are. When we started this process, did you know you were gonna share this story? No. Um, Surprise. Surprise. I thought I was going to write, not a lifestyle book, but um, I kind of thought I had this message that was maybe like a little bit of everything for everybody. And um, working with the Author Incubator really helped me focus on um, what was in me and who I was able to help. I love that. It's so powerful. Well, mer 
Maricia, Maricia, yes, Maricia. I was gonna say your name wrong, but it's so pretty. Uh, she is from Oakville, California, and she wants to know, how did you stay focused and motivated through all the time it took to finish your whole book? How did you stay motivated? And I think a lot of people imagine for our authors, there's a cabin in Vermont, you go there, your children are being taken care of by Mary Poppins, and nothing comes up in your life. So was this a quiet time writing by the ocean side for you? No, I certainly had visions of that. Um, I started with, uh, with all the enthusiasm that you might expect. And two weeks into the writing of the book, my mother passed away very suddenly and unexpectedly. And um, one of the first things I I thought as I was processing all that is, um, you know, how am I going to get through this book? And and I found that the team at the Author Incubator was really able to support me through that. I was um, told from the beginning that they would help me cross the finish line and hold space for nothing but my success. Those words are in my head, and I felt that that was true the whole time. Um, from Ramses as an author success coach through the writing, and uh, Emily, my editor, who was wonderful and held my hand through the whole editing process. And I'm sure the timelines got kind of messed up because I needed time to, to grieve and for my family, but she always made me feel like it was okay and it was running smoothly and that I would finish, and I did. <laughs> I love that. What do you think your mom would think of this book? Mm -hmm. She would be very proud. I did have a chance to talk to her about it before she died, just a few days, actually. And um, I had just actually decided on the topic. And yeah, she's, she told me that she couldn't wait for my wisdom and insight were her words. <laughs> I love that. Well, I want to show people what your wisdom and insight looks like. Such a stunning cover. Wait, you have a story about this cover, don't you? I do. Can you share that? I can. OK. Yes, so uh, on the cover is a picture of a woman looking out over the, the hills of Sedona with a hot air balloon in the background. And the book actually released on Amazon on March 10th, which is my birthday. On March 10th last year, I was in Sedona. And my husband surprised me on my birthday morning with a hot air sunrise balloon ride. And um, yeah, the, the and our designers had no, no idea about that, right? The design team here had no idea about that about that trip. So somehow I think your mom still has a hand in this book. So shout out to your mom and your husband. Congratulations! Bounce back, reclaim your life after a concussion. Thank you. That was Vanessa Woodburn.